Hey friends, it's Mark from the Angular team, and I'm here to tell you about even more updates from this latest release. First, let's check out a few updates from the tooling side. Back in Angular version 14, we announced experimental support for ESBuild and ng-build. This experiment enabled faster build times and helps to simplify our build pipeline. Well, we have some exciting updates to share. Starting in Angular version 15, we're expanding support to include experimental SAS, SVG templates, and file replacement support. All right, I'm sure that you want to give this new feature a try. Well, here's how. Update the builders in Angular.json from build-angular browser to build-angular esbuild. If you come across any issues, be sure to file an issue on GitHub. Sometimes when building an Angular app, I'll reference a component in the template that I haven't imported. Now, of course, I'll get an error, and then I'll have to go through the effort of importing the component. Now, I wish there was a better way. Oh, wait, there is. The Angular language service has been updated to now automatically import components via a quick fix in your editor. Want to know what else makes this so great? It works with standalone components and module-based components. I know I've shown some cool things, and so have other folks on the team, but there are a few more things that I want to sneak into this update. The CLI now supports generating a standalone component with the standalone flag. Also, we're simplifying the output of ng-new. Let me explain. We want to streamline the output of ng-new, and so we're removing test.ts, polyfills.ts, and environments file. If you need to use the environments file in your project, no problem. Create it and then just add your configuration. Polyfills can now be specified directly in the polyfills section of angular.json. Okay, all right. That was a lot of updates. Now for the update that many of you have been waiting for. What are we working on next? Well, we're focused on three things. First, we're tackling improvements to our server-side rendering pipeline. Also, we're devoting time to exploring reactivity in Angular. And finally, we're working on bringing more quality of life improvements across the board. If you want to keep track of our progress on these efforts, be sure to stay tuned to the Angular Roadmap. All right, friends, that's it for me. Enjoy these updates and go build great apps.